In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a technique called binning. And this is where we take a scale or numeric um, variable and we break it up into categories, typically ordinally, um, but we break it up into categories. So if you wanted to take um, a numeric value on, a, on an exam score and you wanted to separate it out by the number of people who got an A versus a B versus a C based upon numeric score, then you could be able to do that automatically with this binning process. Um, and so it's a fairly simple um, avenue to, to uh, perform. So once you've opened up your data set, you want to go to the management menu and click binning. And uh, you're going to first of all choose your variable um, that you want to bin or, or categorize. In this case, we're going to use reading score number one. And you also want to indicate if you want this new binned variable that you're going to create. If you want it to replace your original variable or create it as a new separate variable using the original data from reading group number one. Um, I would typically recommend to just append a new variable. That way you can still have your original numeric data but also have your new categorized uh, or binned data. Um, so there's two ways to go about this. We'll talk about the simplest one first and, and that's where we choose the number of bins or number of categories that we want our data to be organized in. Um, and so this is somewhat arbitrary as far as how many bins you want, depending on what you're trying to do. Sometimes you just want to separate the scores into two groups or two bins. Sometimes you want three. Um, it really just depends on what you're trying to accomplish with the binning. So how this works is you just go to this drop down menu you indicate the number of bins you would like the data to be arranged in. And we're going to start at the lowest, which is two. And we click preview. And what we'll see here then is a table indicating um, how the data was reorganized into the bins. And the ranges of the numeric scores that, that define each bin are going to be here in, inside parentheses and brackets. And you'll notice there's a negative INF here. So that means that the it, what the system is going to do is find the lowest score in your data set and that will be the lower boundary of bin number one and then 84.3 will be the upper boundary of bin number one and then for bin number two the um, lower boundary will be 84.4 technically um, and then the highest score um, in your data set and that will uh, indicate the boundaries for that bin so as you can see, it pretty much divides the, the data set in half, 75 in each bin. Um, and so that works fairly well. Now, if you wanted more categories to compare, you could choose three, uh, click the preview button, and you'll see how it's going to then reorganize the data using now different boundaries for each bin. Again, the lowest possible score to 78.1, 78.2 to 90.6, and then 90.7 to the highest score in the data set. And so you can play around with that depending on how many categories you want to create. But what happens is Intellectus does that somewhat arbitrarily as far as what ranges of scores define each bin. Now, if you want to be very specific about which ranges of scores define each bin, then you can choose the manual option. And we're going to click the reset button and reset all our, our bins here. And so what you do here is using the actual scores in your data set, you're going to create these breakpoints. So um, I'm going to say that, you know, I want to use a typical grading scale range here to break my data up. So um, and so let's say I want to use a typical grading scale and and I, you know, the lowest, any score below a 70 is a failure score. So I'm going to have 70 as being one of my breakpoints. And then the next level for the next grade would be an 80, uh, and then a 90, uh, and then a 100. So each breakpoint has to be separated by a comma, um, but you do not need to put commas in larger. Um, numbers. So you didn't have, don't have to put a comma within a thousand or ten thousand. Uh, you just write that out number out without commas. And so now Intellectus is going to is going to separate our data out using these breakpoints. Um, and so in order to see what this is going to look like, we now click the Add button. 
um, and it's going to produce the same kind of table. So here we've got the lowest possible score in our data set to 70 will be one category. From 71 to 80 would be another category. 80 to 81 to 90 would be another and so on. And we do actually have a couple scores that are above 100. So now we've created these bins using kind of a criterion of how large we want these bins to be as far as numerically speaking. How many data points wide, if you will. And so those are the two different ways we have of trying to bin data. And, and again, how we bin the data manually depends again on what you're trying to accomplish or how you want to try and represent the data. Um, and so we can have breakpoints be smaller intervals. It could have been 70 to 75 and so in, in uh, 85 or in 80 and 85 and 90 and so on. So you can play with that however you like and you can then get a sense of what, how the data will be distributed once you create these bin boundaries. So hopefully you found this to be uh, useful uh, and hope good luck using this uh, in your own research.